What is your honest opinion on creatine risks, benefits? What are your thoughts there? Oh my God, it's great. And I say that like I, I um, have played with creatine off and on throughout my athletic career, but it wasn't until uh, I was having lots of depressive episodes with some family loss and I was living in New Zealand and my dad was dying of cancer on the East Coast east coast of the u.s you get calls in the middle of the night so interrupted sleep and that kind of stuff and i didn't want to go on a serotonin reuptake inhibitor because i was doing my phd and i didn't know how it was going to affect me so i started looking at creatine and because your brain is a is a very energetic organ and needs a lot of glucose and fast energetics and it was very compelling to read how creatine when it is available through all the body that all the tissues benefit and now we're starting to see the evidence is coming out for creatine for health, where we're seeing that there are randomized control trials looking at mood disorder, depression, anxiety, and that it's less lessened when you're using creatine. We also see the reset of our circadian rhythm under um, fatigue duress. If you're having, I think it's point three grams per kilogram. I think people were saying 20 grams per day, but it ends up being 0.38 grams per kilo. Uh, in times of real sleep deprivation fatigue that it helps the brain focus and helps maintain body composition. We see people who have um, gut issues. Using creatine helps with the mucosal lining and helps maintain gut integrity, so reduces symptoms of IBS. And then, of course, you see all the muscle performance aspects that we've already known about from bodybuilding days, right? But then if we're bringing it down to a lower dose, we're still seeing uh, muscle improvement because we're improving the fueling capacity of the muscle, then we're going to get performance benefit. I would say the biggest concern that, you know, people, you know, that that, that asked us about this was for things like uh, hair loss, you know, does it contribute to, you know, things like hair loss in males? And also one of the things that I'm assuming, obviously with all the things that you suggested there, that there would also likely be benefits cognitively working memory thinking abilities um mm -hmm. yeah, yeah so so i just wondered perhaps what your thoughts were on those two things um so there is no evidence to show that it promotes hair loss uh so i get that question all the time um if we are doing smaller doses so it's a three to five grams there's no um, bloating or or water weight gain which is a concern a lot for women Cognitive benefits, absolutely. And that's what the research is coming out with uh, under fatigue and duress. Um, even lower benefits improve cognitive focus. So that's your five-ish grams per day. Um, so the International Journal of Sports Nutrition, the ISSN, has written a position stand on creatine to go through all the myths and, and things about it in the sports performance world with regards to what kind, the dosage, how it benefits. And then Crea Vitalis and Creatine for Health website has all the um, research that's based on things like uh, cognitive focus, pregnancy. It's good for pregnancy as well because that's one of the most energetically hungry states a woman could be in um, for muscle performance and sarcopenia, for fatigue. So you have a whole health scope and then you have a performance scope. Are there any other supplements that you recommend to, I guess, women or perhaps more broadly to, I guess, anyone that's listening now? Um, vitamin D, for sure. You need to start dosing on some vitamin D because winter's coming your way. It is. It is. <laughs> and I'm pale. <laughs> or come down to New Zealand under the uh, ozone hole and then you just get your dose that way. No, vitamin D is important uh, across the board. Um, we spend too much time inside for the most part. And derms always rail me when I'm like, well, when you go outside, don't use sunscreen. But even then you don't get enough. So we want to look at vitamin D um, and omega-3 fatty acids because omega-3s all help with cellular components to reduce inflammation. Um, so those would be the big three, creatine, omega-3s, and our vitamin D. Everything else is kind of nuanced, depending on the individual and what their um, needs are.